Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. And there's a couple of good things in the news to talk about today. Uh, First thing up for competitive players, remember right now we're in a new season, but FNCS hasn't started yet. This is what they're considering at the the beginning of every season to be the preseason of when FNCS starts. So you get two weeks and already, already they are figuring some things out. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they have to say about uh, what they have figured out so far. In an effort to address server performance in high-level matches, we have removed saucers from competitive playlists, arena, and tournaments. We will continue to monitor these playlists throughout the competitive preseason. That's great to to know uh, that they just went ahead and removed them. I mean, to me, this is probably something that would have been an issue anyways where you would have had the competitive scene just not feeling like saucers were uh, a competitive uh you know a fair competitive uh weapon or tool in the game so i bet a lot of the competitive community would have wanted this removed anyways but especially knowing that the saucers can you know especially if you got a bunch of them flying around in end game it can really affect the server performance at the end of a match and you that is the last place you want to have uh, server performance issues during your match, right? So uh, glad they figured it out. Glad they removed them so fast. You know, we're in two days into the season, and boom, saucers are removed from a uh, competitive playlist already. So good news on that, and we will keep you updated if there are any more news around competitive uh, updates get brought to light. Uh, Our next piece of news is also about competitive, so let's see what they had to say today about the FNCS All-Star Showdown details. So, Fortnite fans, after initial teases, we're now ready to share details for the FNCS All-Star Showdown. Teaming up with Blast, FNCS All-Star Showdown celebrates this year's top FNCS competitors and uniquely puts their skills to test. Taking place June 11th through the 26th, Uh, Across numerous activities, challenges, and tournaments, FNCS All-Star participants will compete for a share of the $3 million prize pool culminating with the FNCS All-Star Solo Championship on June 26th. So this is starting tomorrow. For complete tournament details, FNCS All-Star participants should be sure to check out the FNCS All-Star Showdown official rules, which will be hitting the Fortnite Tournament Rules Library. Uh, later next week Uh, check out our timeline for all fncs all-star activities happening this week hype days june 11th through the 13th starting june 11th you'll see some of your favorite fortnite creators across the globe getting involved in the hype for the fncs all-star showdown to open the festivities of the fncs all-star showdown they'll be hosting their own challenges and tournaments focused on the fncs all-star showdown and the creative skills challenges Uh, Solo All-Star Play-In will be June 18th through the 20th. You might have thought your chance of competing in the FNCS All-Star Showdown was over. Well, think again. We'll be hosting the Solo All-Star Play-In Tournament for all eligible Champion League players on June 18th through the 20th. Ten spots in each region are on the line. Here's the full breakdown of the four-round tournament. So round one is open to all eligible Champion League players. Round two... uh, Depending on which region you're in, the top players are going to go on to the, uh, you know, from round one. We'll go into round two. And then same thing, round three, you know, the top players from the regions will go on and so on until you get to round four. Uh, And then let's see here. Yeah, round four will be the top 100 players in each region from round three. And then uh, there'll be 10 spots from each region. Placement points will be as follows. 51st through 75th will be 1. 41st through 50th is 2. 36th through 40th is 3. 31st through 35th is 4. 26th through 30th is 5. 21st through 25th is 7. 16th through 20th is 9. 11th through 15th is 11. And then from 10 to 4th, starting at 13 points, you get 1 point uh for each additional placement that you go up from 10 through fourth then third place it's going to be 22 points 
Second place will be 25 points. Victory Royale will be a total of 30 points. Each elimination is going to be one point, and it will be two points in round four. There's going to be skill challenges uh, June 23rd through the 24th. Leading up to the FNCS All-Star Solo Championship on June 26th, we'll be running three bracket-style skills challenges centered around building, editing, and aiming. Partnering with immature gamer Enigma and Dumb, uh, Dumb Blonde will be bringing you five different Fortnite creative maps and a welcome hub that we'll be using during the entire event. These builders made some incredible islands specifically for FNCS All-Star Showdown, and if you'd like you can support them using code FNCS All Star Creators. Each skill challenge will be a double elimination bracket style competition with eight total players competing. The top three teams from Chapter 2 Season 5 and the top three teams from Chapter 2 Season 6 will designate one person from their respective trios to compete in the skills challenges. Additionally, We've invited two players from each region to fill out the remaining two spots in each skills challenge. Only qualified or invited players to the FNCS All-Star Showdown skills challenges are eligible for prizes. The skills challenge include Blueprint Battle on June 23rd. Players will go head-to-head -head in the Blueprint Battle to determine who can make it through the edit course the fastest. Players will be challenged with different building edits in their way as they run through the map. Jump into the map yourself and see how fast you can get through the course. Share your results on Twitter using the hashtag BlueprintBattle hashtag. Uh, for the code, that is 38408537 And that's how you're going to be able to uh, test your skills on this uh, map. Bullseye Bonanza will be on June 23rd. Who has the best aim in Fortnite? Well, we're looking to find that out through the Bullseye Bonanza. Players will be forced to quickly shoot targets in succession in order to progress through the map. Build your aiming skill by playing Bullseye Bonanza in Creative. That code is 942063351309. And then High Tier will be on June 24th. Players will be required to make it from point A to point B by tunneling, cranking 90s, and waterfalling through High Tier. The fastest player will advance to the next round. Improve your building skills by experiencing the map yourself. And the code for high tier is 39478128 Winning players will advance through the upper bracket while the losing players will move on to the lower bracket. A player will be eliminated from the applicable skills challenge, challenge if they lose a matchup while in the lower back bracket. Once a single player is left in the upper bracket and the lower bracket, those players will compete in the finals for that skills challenge. To win a skills challenge finals, the player in the lower bracket must win two matches while the player in the upper bracket will only need to win one match. Play for keeps on June 25th. After the skills challenge wrap up, we'll be holding a team competition in a game called Play for Keeps that will showcase who's got the best overall skills in Fortnite without the ability to build structures. Okay, this 3v3 game mode pits the top four FNCS trios in each region against each other in a single elimination bracket. Teams will need to secure the Play for Keeps llama and retain it to earn points. The other team will work to eliminate the holder of the llama until it is in their possession. The code for this map is 58926942 And I know we've seen a competition like this before. I can't remember at which event, but you know, it's it's a pretty fun watch. Uh, each skills challenge has money on the line. You can find the full prize pool breakdown for each skills challenge in the FNCS All-Star Official Rules coming later next week. All-Star Trick Shot. Just looking to have some fun and show off your trick shots? Jump into the FNCS All-Star Trick Shot map to create some shareable clips. And the code is 53323250 FNCS All-Star Solo Championship will be June 26th. Uh, the grand finale of the FNCS All-Star Showdown, the FNCS All-Star Solo Championship, will consist of six games and follow the point format of the Solo Cash Cups with a twist. The player with the most eliminations at the end of each match will receive an additional bonus prize varying between $113 to $1,020 depending on the region. The player with the most points at the end of all six matches will be crowned the FNCS All-Star Solo Champion. You can find the finals format below. And uh, again, pretty much it's the same format that we just said earlier with the same scoring. Just the fact that uh, the 
you know, the player who has, whoever has the most eliminations of the match is going to get a, a, a bonus prize. Uh, and then the broadcast information, even if you can't compete in the FNCS All-Star Showdown, you'll still be able to watch all the action from home. Starting June 23rd, we'll be broadcasting the EU, NA West, NA East, and Brazil regions as they compete each day in the skills challenges, the Play for Keeps team competition, and the All-Star Solo Championship. They have the broadcast schedule here. Uh, let's just go ahead and get to the times. Let's see here. June 23rd, they're going to start at 1 p.m. Eastern. June 24th, also 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, June 25th, it's going to start at 1 p.m. Eastern. And June 26th will start at 11 a.m. Eastern. Uh, let's see here. And that's uh, all the times in the eastern time zone they have the 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 uh the uh brackets here for what time they start in all the other regions as well uh, but i'm not going to go through all of those let's just talk about the twitch drops we will have another round of twitch drops available that includes an emoticon spray loading screen and back bling so be sure to link your epic and twitch accounts and watch on any official supported channel to claim your drops uh, that's a lot of uh, drops, especially if you actually get something cool like uh, a back bling. Uh, that's going to be worth it to be watching these. Host your own broadcast. If you'd like to practice your own casting skills or have your own personal broadcast with your community, we'll be providing a feed of the stream to community members on Twitch who've signed up and agreed to our terms and conditions. We'll also be providing an FNCS All-Star themed graphics package to anyone who is participating and we'll be hosting a community streaming Discord server where you can join to ask any questions. Sign up for the community stream feed here at the FNCS All-Star Showdown community stream. Uh, qualified players. So who are the selected participants of, for FNCS All-Star Showdown? Here are the qualified players. Good luck to everyone. And they show everybody who has already qualified uh, so far. Again, I'm not going to read through <laughs> the list of hundreds of players uh, from uh, across all different regions, but they have all the lists uh, here. And uh, you know, again, there's going to be 10 spots open for each region, uh, starting with the open round. So make sure that if you want to try to participate in these, if you think you got the skills, uh, participate in that, uh, that, uh, play in round so that you can get yourself in. All right. So that was some big news today. Pretty awesome, uh, stuff that we got going on in competitive, uh, this season, you know, with the regular FNCS stuff going on and uh, the All-Star uh, showdown going on, this season is going to be uh, a blast to watch, I feel like, especially with all these skills competitions and fun, just fun things, you know, uh, just like you would have for any All-Star game like, uh, you know, football or baseball or basketball with all these different skill competitions. Really cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that's all the news I got for today. So let's uh, go over some challenges. And you know what? Uh, let's just go over. Yesterday we went over where to talk to uh, some, you know, the different characters that you need to talk to with the legendary quest. Uh, but you know, this legendary quest isn't like the ones from last season where you just have to keep progressing uh, higher with those. This one actually has different stuff. So let's just go over all the legendary quests that we have left today. So the one, uh, the next one. Uh, that you're going to get in stage two is to collect stone from the aftermath. And of course the aftermath is right in the middle of the map. So just land there and uh, collect stone. Most of the stone is kind of like around the, it's not going to be like right in the middle. There's around the edges. Uh, there's a bunch of stone here that you can't actually break. Uh, so you're looking for just the, like the actual rocks that you're used to uh, finding around the map uh, to break. But there's like some really dark gray, uh, metal looking rocks that are part of the aftermath that you, you can't break those. So that's not what you're trying to break. Just break some rocks and you get that done. Collect different IOTech weapons. You need to collect three in total. Now for this, you know, just go to any of the, uh, IO, uh, bases, you know, like the one that's north of, um, retail row or the one that is, uh, west of steamy stacks, you can go to the one, uh, you know, like Stealthy Stronghold. You got the one that is uh, south of Slurpee Swamp. Uh, one, uh, let's see here, east on the hill from we uh, Weeping Woods. Uh, you know, you go to any of those places. Go to any of the places where you have uh, the IO bases. 
and you're going to, you know, like even the one that's west of Believer Beach, there's there's a ton of them around the map. Uh, just go to all those, and uh, you know, that's where the IO guards are and bases are, so you're going to have a, a lot higher chance of getting the IO tech weapons there. Uh, you need to interact with Jonesy's conspiracy board, okay? To do this, uh, this is, uh, you know, we used to talk about the ski lodge that we like so much to get a bunch of gold last season. That's still a good place to get a bunch of gold. Uh, Power Cord isn't there to get easy gold from her uh, challenges anymore, but there's still all those couches and stuff in there to break. But you're going to land behind that south of that, on the south side of this mountain, there's uh, a house. You're going to land in there, Jonesy, uh, Bunker Jonesy will be in there, and inside the house will be a, a conspiracy board that you just interact with. And then you need to place rubber ducks in retail row. Okay, the one in retail row is going to be on the east end of retail row in the uh, basketball court is where you're going to find that one. You need to go to uh, Pleasant Park, and the one in Pleasant Park... Uh, where is the one that is in Pleasant Park? I'm trying to remember. Oh, it's at the gas station. That's right. The uh, It's going to be right outside the gas station. And then you need to go to Believer Beach. And when you go to Believer Beach, on the east side of Believer Beach, there is the uh, swimming pool. And it's going to be uh, next to the swimming pool. All right. So that's your challenges. That's how you're going to get the legendary challenges done this week. We'll go over the rest of the challenges throughout the rest of this week here. Uh, let's head on over to the item shop and see what is in the item shop here today. A lot of good stuff. Okay. So we still got all our DC bundles in here, of course, uh, but they did a turn the music up section today, which has the marshmallow bundle, uh, the major laser bundle, and all those items, and then a bunch of the Icon Series uh, emotes that we've gotten in the past that are all, you know, uh, music from uh, all your favorite uh, musicians and your favorite songs out there. So I'm not going to go over all of them because there's a lot today, uh, but just know that it, that's a big sec section in here today. If you want Marshmallow Major Laser items, uh, that's a bunch of good stuff. So uh, get in there and get it while it's here. For the daily section, we have the Brat outfit with the Loose Links Contrail for 1200 The Midnight Ops outfit for 1200 That's a great one. The Ground Pound emote for 200 The Blue Camo Wrap for 300 The Full Tilt emote for 500 The T-Pose emote for 200 uh, we have uh, the uh, Falcon Clan bundle, which has Kuno Outfit, Kenji Outfit, Falcon Glider, Talon's Harvesting Tool, Quick Strike Harvesting Tool, Dual Comma Back Bling, and the Katana and Kunai Back Bling for 2,800. That's 3,000 V-Bucks off the total. Kuno Outfit with the Dual Comma Back Bling is 1,500. The Kenji Outfit with the Katana and Kunai Back Bling is 1,500. The Falcon Glider is 1,500. The Talon's Harvesting Tool is 800. Quick Strike Harvesting Tool is 500. Uh, we have the new Celeste outfit serving Cosmic Justice on the battlefield, part of the Star Skirmish set. Comes with the Spectral Star Backbling, Make Your Wish. And this is a really awesome looking outfit. You know, she's got like uh, little ponytail buns in her hair with stars uh, orbiting around them, a star shirt, star belt, jeans and a t-shirt. Love the the boots and the the star uh, back bling. Looks, all of it looks really good. And this is from a content creator uh, named Shark Tooths, uh, Tooths on uh, Twitter. So go check him out. I'm sure he's on Instagram and everything as well. But uh, yeah, it's always great to see fan-made concepts make it into the game. And this is a great one. Uh, we also have the Prisma Blade Harvesting Tool, a truly stellar weapon. 800 V-Bucks as well for this one. Again, part of this Star Skirmish set. And this one looks great. I love the star with the rainbow uh, you know, trailing behind it and the stars that uh, pop up uh, behind it as well. It's really cool. Uh, you have the triple threat outfit for 1,200. Love that one. The jump shot outfit for 1,200. The slam dunk harvesting tool for 800. The hang time glider for 1,200. The ballsy emote for 500. 
And that looks like everything today, so you can get any and all of these items using code Mikey, M-M-M-I-K-I-E, in the item shop, and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. Let's go ahead and talk about our tip of the day, and this is another one that I saw uh, on Cypher PK video, and I just happened to run into myself uh, today as well, and uh, keep pressing the wrong button. Let me bring up the map here if you're watching on YouTube. So, you're going to want to go to the... Uh, map uh well, of course you're going you're going to look at the map but you are going to go to the io guard we talked about the io guard bases and there's the one that is north of retail row okay and it's next to the uh the fish pond lake so you're going to go to this one inside this uh uh base there is an npc i cannot remember this npc's name at the moment but you're gonna go here and this npc has an awesome awesome uh deal for you so you're gonna spend i believe it's 1200 gold uh, or 1250 you're gonna spend that gold and then you are buying from her a mega supply drop where 10 supply drops will fall throughout the map uh there's gonna be one close to you for sure but then there's gonna be a bunch more spread out throughout the island uh, that fall but uh, you know there's again there are uh, there's a permanent launch pad that launches here uh, you know if you happen to be looking around the map when you drop in if there is uh, a location that has uh, a spaceship nearby you know this of course is if you're playing pubs uh, then you will you can go to that location get yourself a spaceship first then buy them a supply drop uh, from this character and then uh, be able to get to those supply drops uh, the other supply drops that fall around the island faster but that's pretty awesome that you know because a lot of times it seems like a lot of the supply drops pl fall pretty close to each other so just the fact that you can op you might be able to open up uh, multiple supply drops together back to back this is especially good if you're playing in a team mode and you can get your entire team uh, you know uh, uh, you know an awesome loadout uh, right off the bat, then you are going to be sitting pretty for the rest of the game to get yourself some victory royales. All right, that's the episode for today. Make sure you go join the daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts, leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm.